tying a buzzer here, just a strip coil buzzer. I'm uh, going to use UTC 140 black for the body. We've got a B110 style hook, it's a barbless hook that I got from Japan. I'm trying them out. So we'll tie the thread in, we'll wind the thread down the body. I want to take it right round the bend. Okay. Now I've got a honey olive strip coil here. It's already been pre-stripped, you can see. Tying it in at the thick end. Catch it in, touch and turns. Bring the thread back up the way. Right, we'll stop just in front of the point as you can see. Stop just right in front of the point of the hook. I'm going to go back down the way. I'm not going to go right down to the strip curl this time, I'm just going to stop a bit short and then go back up. So I'm basically just tape on the body. Then back down one more. You can have open spaces because the varnish will fill in the gaps. Stop short and back up. Obviously if you're going to tie this on a smaller hook, you use a uh, thinner thread. I'll take the varnish. Put some varnish on there. That's just to help when you're putting the peacock on, because peacock strip quills are a nightmare. Now I'm not actually touching turns here, I'm using the thread to make, make it look bigger. Make the, the banding on the peacock look bigger. I've tied it on a barbless hook as well. Reason being is that most of the competitions in Scotland are all becoming barbless now, so there's not much point in constantly debarbing hooks. I think it'll get to the stage eventually where you'll be having to use a manufactured hook. Right, you can see that there. It's quite rough and ready just now, but it'll be fine when we're finished. I'm going to use some Mirage. Uh, it's large Mirage. Just for the thorax cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to catch it in this way. And just go forward until you get to the eye and just work your way back then forward again just pull that out of the way then back again forward again. Right, now I'm going to use some sunburst goose bites. As you can see they're very yellowy orange rather than the brighter orange ones. I think once they're varnished you get a much better colour. I'm just going to catch that in. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Just line it up so they're about the same. Catch it in. Hold the two bits and work your way back. Right, then we'll go forward again. Then back. At this point, you want to make sure the thorax is the right shape you want it to be. There we go, I'm happy with that. What I'm now going to do is put one by it, down one side, catch it in. And I'll just rip that bit off. Okay. Right, and then we'll put the other by it down this side. And then we'll just rip that bit off. And then tidy it up. 
last thing we've got to do is pull the thorax cover over. So I'm just pulling that over. Catch it in. Trim it. And just cover the remainder up with thread. Okay. Whip finish. Same again. Two whip finishes. Uh, as I said before, the fly will not look that good until you've actually finished it. So, what you want to do now is varnish the whole fly. Take two or three coats. To sink in. Make sure you get the varnish in among the goose by it as well. the shape of it as well and the pearl on the back the bites you can see what it'll look like once it's finished once it's completely dry and it's got another couple of coats it'll be really really smart that will sink like a stone <laughs> 